to the movie just the other day Trying to make her relax in a different way It didn't play Didn't stand a chance When I want to sweet talk All she wants to do is dance My name is Eugene Hideaway Bridges And the music I make is like water it's real, and you can use it for anything, as long as you use it in the right way. She likes the swishing and swaying. She likes the moving and grooving. Watch her move. Some people like to put things in one box. I've been doing this before I knew anything about there was a box, ever. I've been doing this since I was two years old before anybody decided to put me in a category. That's why I say music is like water. You can use water to make coffee. You can use it to make tea. You can also use it to put in your radiator of your car. You know, but it's not only for those things. So when the, mu when the water is right, there's so many things, quality things, you can do with that water. And so many quality things you could do with music and a song. The song is your message to the world. And it might come in one genre on one song on the same CD, and a different genre in another uh, another genre on the same CD. It's not about pinhole, you know, holding someone down and say, okay, I only want you to wear a green shirt for the rest of your life. You know, you're never allowed to wear a green shirt ever again except for any other color shirt but a green shirt for the rest of your life. Now, green shirt is a nice shirt, you know, but sometimes you might want to wear blue or purple or red or beige. You know, you have the opportunity to be the true you. And that's what this music, I'm blessed to be able to write songs that people can be touched with. So I never, ever put it in a, in a genre, and I never let anybody else put me in that genre. She got me moving in the groove and rocking the night out in the day. She got me swishing and swinging. She got me moving. My dad wore a lot of hats in my life. First of all, uh, he showed me how to play the guitar, how to bring out a sound, make a statement, how to say something with your instrument. I already had the drive and the desire to be able to do it, walking around behind him with a plastic shovel with rubber bands on it. My daddy was hideaway slim back when I was just a baby. To me, he was just daddy. But Daddy never got a chance to record an album because he raised in the church, being a, being a, a missionary's son, uh, teaching at the age of seven years old, he was teaching, being influenced by so many great sounds from the church and from different churches. Uh, my daddy, when he started playing the blues, that sound, see the blues is born from the gospel and he stayed true to that sound. I would just, I, I just, followed him and played behind him because he's the guy who showed me how to not only play what he showed me to play, but how to bring out the song that was in my heart and in my head. And he opened up many doors of music to allow me to express the real me. He didn't teach me how to play the guitar. He taught me how to search for the sounds and make the sound come out that was already coming out of me. That's called a blessing from God. A lot of people overlook that. And a lot of people call it everything else but what it is. And uh, I always count on keeping the history. So Hideaway Slim is part of my history. And the music that I play and that he played is part of his history and his, the history before him. And like B.B. King and T-Bone Walker, they were just words. They were just names to me, you know. 
1966. But see, this goes back in the in the 30s when my daddy was uh, he was born in 1938. But when he was four years old, there was a preacher named Ella Utah Smith would play at his church at broadcast service, and Ella Utah Smith would uh, would play doing broadcast and play that open tuning guitar. And my daddy's head was right next to it, that amplifier. And that sound just stuck with him. And he sang it all the time. He played it all the time around me. And I was able to hear it, play it, feel it, and be able to grow from that. But see, they was just names to me. All these was just words, just names. So my daddy was the guy who introduced me to how to tell my story. Oh, come Friday morning now. Everything is... Everything you got is spent on. Talking about the real hero. Working at nine to five. Blues is your story, be it good, be it bad, be it swinging, be it slow blues, be it painful, be it joyful. Blues is your story to the world. That's what the blues is. You know, it's not all about the bad things. When you only point out the bad things, then you only looking at the bad things that have happened. You know, just like, you know, you know, you, you open up a, a can of beans and there might be you know, one bad beans, or you open up a, a basket of fruit, a basket of apples, and that's one bad apple. Well, a basket of apples is not all about the rotten apple. It's about what it is, the truth of that, you know. And when you try to make up a story in the blues just to please an individual, then you got to make up another story to please someone else. You, you're constantly making up things, and you have no foundation. Blues is your story to the world. I see you out there working. Somebody said you were working. You're the real hero. I'm happy all the time because I'm a blessed person. Uh, I go through some hardships and hard times and and like everyone else. But the thing is, I know that I'm blessed. I don't I don't take that for granted. I don't ignore the blessing that I have received over all these many, many, many years. 53 years of singing around the world, 56 years of living, you know, and constantly reaching and touching people and being a part of people. Even right here in the Netherlands, the first guy to bring me here to the Netherlands, you know, it, it just, I was happy to be a part of his life and his family's life. And, and he was my, fr he was my first uh, agent, uh, Frank Boulder, who introduced me to this area uh, when I come here year, many years ago and when I'm in Australia the people that I touch when I'm in England the people who 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 are touched in the messages that I get from so many people around the world you know this that's what this is all about you know if you can reach someone with what you have to say and it meant and it's, it's a positive thing there's so so many bad influence out there but when you when you can reach someone on a good influence out there you had yourself a great day. Thank you so much. Come shake the boy's hand. If you don't rise above it, it's gonna drive you mad. Hi, this is Eugene Hideaway Bridges, and you're listening to theBluesRadio.com.